Everyone, I'm Nick Toma. I'm Candace Kelly. Thank you for joining us tonight. 2822 News teams are fanning out all across the area, helping make sure that every child has a warm coat for this winter. It's all part of our Coats for Kids drive with locations in northeastern and central Pennsylvania, and we'll get live team coverage coming up in just a bit. But first tonight, it's been a chaotic 24 hours in Washington. Former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy was ousted from his leadership position yesterday afternoon. 2822 News reporter Amelia Sack joins us now with more more about that historic vote. Amelia? Nick and Candace, good evening. This is the first time in U.S. history that a permanent speaker has been removed. It was certainly a historic day, but for all the wrong reasons. After Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy passed bipartisan spending legislation and narrowly avoided a government shutdown, eight hard right Republicans joined forces with Democrats to remove McCarthy from his position Tuesday evening. The political bomb throwing in Washington is so bad now that we just did something that has never happened before in the history of our republic. A sitting speaker was thrown out in the middle of his term after failing to appease the far right members of the House in government spending negotiations. I think actually it was destructive, not constructive, but there we are. Uh, those were the rules and we have to move forward. The effort was led by Florida Republican Representative Matt Gates. There was a change back to original procedures in the House that it only took one member of the House to offer resolution to re to vacate the speakership and uh, Matt Gates utilize that in this case. Representative Patrick McHenry of North Carolina has taken over as the interim speaker, but House operations are halted until a new permanent speaker is elected. McCarthy has said he does not plan to run again, but that does not mean he can't be nominated. Republicans from the House are set to vote on a new speaker next week. The only thing that, that uh, we should be concerned about is if they're not able to get uh, a member elected on the first ballot, whoever that may be, uh, this could drag on, and that's the fear. If it if it drags on for uh, days and weeks, it could be very damaging to the Republicans. Now, Professor Sosar also says that because the parties are so close in numbers in the House of Representatives, whoever is nominated can only afford to lose four votes amongst Republicans. If that number goes higher than four, the nominee cannot be named speaker and it will take longer to elect someone new. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise has already announced his run for the speakership. In the studio, Amelia Sack, 2822 News. Thank you, Amelia. And in our Instapol question today, we want to know if you think political infighting is bad for our country. Your choices are yes, nothing's getting done, or no, it helps keep balance. Most of you say yes. You still have time to let us know how you feel. Go on the Instapol by scanning that QR code on your television screen. Go to BAHomepage.com or the drop-down menu on the app.